Ace Money the name, getting paid for the game. My goal is to help you get that money by sharing my picks as well as some useful knowledge and betting techniques. Now, while we go over this recap, I'd like to get right into these picks so we can get in and out like a BE with handicappers. So it's a SBR, Sportsbook Robbery. What's going on? I'm Ace Money, and this is Sportsbook Robbery. It's for, uh, September 1st. Bunch of games on the slate. It's uh, real late Saturday night, Sunday morning. So uh, I'm going to run through this kind of quick. Got a lot of plays. Uh, first, it's for the second game. Chicago at Miami, 3 o'clock. Uh, Miami, Minnesota. Going with Bridget Carlton, over 3.5 rebounds. Minus 116 on FanDuel. Chicago's fifth overall. Uh, 63% hit rate for the year. Let me drop it down, sorry. Last five games, four out of five, trending up. Uh, she usually gets around four, but she's been getting a little more. Alana Smith has been a little flaky. She's uh, She actually might not play tomorrow. Game time decision. But, uh, yeah, I'm rocking with it. You know what else we're going with? Three-pointers. Over two and a half, though. Plus 178, FanDuel. I've been playing it all year long. Uh, you've been watching, you already know. Started playing it like right around here. She does miss it occasionally, but she comes right back to it. So... As long as she don't miss it a few days in a row, I'm going to continue to play it. It's been very profitable. I'm going to keep rocking with it. So I got her rebounds over three and a half, and uh, three pointers over two and a half. Next up, going uh, Kalia. Assists over three and a half, minus 142. Vandal, make sure you line shop. Uh, playing Chicago, the eighth in assist overall. Uh, fifth to the forward position, it gets a little worse, but she'll be all right. Last five games, cleared this four out of five. Uh, last ten games, seventy percent. Last twenty, fifty-five. For the year, about 60%. Succeeded three and a half and four of the last five. First the bottom five uh, defense for assists allowed. So I'm a rock with it. Talia assists, let's get it. Sophie Cunningham rebounds over four and a half. Plus 108 FanDuel. Uh, playing Vegas. The Aces overall ranked 10th. Rebounds allowed to the guard position is a little worse, ranked 5th. Forward ranked 12th. Center ranked 9th. Uh, these plays for Cunningham aren't always available. Once she got moved to the starting lineup, somebody got hurt uh, about a week ago, maybe a little more. This girl right here, I believe. Osborne. Could be wrong. But uh, she started getting more minutes and uh, she started grabbing more boards. She hangs out at the wing and she'll come in off the side and grab some rebounds. I was noticing it before when she was getting 20 something minutes. Still is getting 20 something, but it's moved up. She was getting low 20s. She succeeded four and a half in six of the last seven games, averaging a little over six. Uh, clear this four out of five. Last 
home games. They're playing at home. Last three home games since we came back from the Olympic break. She's cleared this 10, 5, and 6. All of us good rebounding teams. Uh, they had her plays locked on uh, FanDuel two days ago. I couldn't even play and They had her name with a lock button. It was definitely unfair. So uh, get it while you can. Cunningham rebounds over four and a half. Next up, next up, uh, Diana Teresi points over 14 and a half, minus 128, FanDuel. Playing Vegas, points allowed, seventh overall, guard position, ranked sixth. I like playing her, she's a veteran, you guys probably know who she is, uh, been in the league for years, multiple gold medals, all-stars. I like playing her for a couple days rest at home. Uh, especially going against a good team because she likes to show up and show out, and when she has the rest, she does better. Is that her last five games? She's, uh, you know, a little bit up and down. If I break it down to the last five home games, four out of five, and then I could do the last five home games with three-plus days rest. That's where she's at now. Four out of five. Six seeded 15 and a half points in five out of the six last home games, averaging about 18. Three games rest at home for the year, 100% hit rate. Head to head, one of them was versus Vegas. Uh, yeah, I like it. Check out a shot chart real quick. Called Props Madness. You guys check it out. Kind of gives you the lines and everything else. Like, uh, like Outlier. But it also gives you a couple other, like, little tidbits, as I say. Defensive rank, six. Pace rank, first. Points in the paint allowed, fifth. Three points allowed, eighth. Free throws allowed, third, breaks it all down, and then it does uh, my position, and then as well as people who play like her, it's all green, so it's usually good, but here's the shot chart for the year for Terezi, and then it shows how they play defense. It's all looking good. I'm going to rock with it. All right, uh, Kelsey Mitchell points over 19 and a half, minus 124. Fandle. Now check this out. This is why you need multiple books and need the line shop. 124 right now on Fandle, minus 150 on DraftKings. I mean, it's fucking 3.40 in the morning, so I'm sure by the time tomorrow comes, they'll fucking level it out. But they also got her points line at 20 and a half. I outlined it back. They got a 20 and a half minus 102. I should probably go over it. I always take the lowest number I can. If you spend a lot of money, buy it back to fucking 17 and a half. If you want to spend $500, you know what I mean? $200, always outline it back. I don't even spend 100 But, um, yeah, last five games, just cleared this. Last 10, 80% hit rate. Last 20, 60%. Dallas is uh, 12th overall in points allowed to the guard position in rank 10th. Mind you, Dallas is a different team from the Olympic break on. They got Sabali back. Seegers just came back. Uh, playing better offense, obviously. But uh, they've been on a winning streak, too. So has Fever. Fever's been doing well. But these numbers over here for, you know, Stats on them are not exactly correct, especially not since the All Star break. But uh, definitely rock with this, unless 
she has a real bad night, gets hurt, or knock on wood. I don't even want to put that in existence. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to continue to rock with it. She's a beast. Kelsey Mitchell, 19 and a half. Line shop. All right, so uh, Satu Sabali, over two and a half threes. We got it at plus 140 on DraftKings. Uh, excuse me, 130 on DraftKings. They don't have bad 365 in New York. But uh, as you see, this line it's 124, FanDuel, 109, Underdog, 140, 130. That's why you got to have multiple books and find the best odds. Uh, Indiana's 11th and 3 is allowed for position. It does get a little worse, but uh, Sabali came back after the break and she's been doing real well. You can check out, a, I was going to play her assist too, but uh, she's really good at assists and rebounds and it's all the lines again. She got it at like 4.5. It's a good play. But uh, I just like her threes. Plus money plays are hard to hit. Take that into consideration. But uh, I feel like they're at home and going up against uh, Clark. You know, there's going to be a bunch of people there. She's going to she's gonna try to show off a little better. I did this three out of the last five. 75% hit rate for the year. Uh, home games, 75% hit rate for the year. One, two, three, four. She hit this four out of six. She's played six games. But, uh, yeah, she went 50% from three. So, yeah, I'm going to fuck with a team that's not great against defending the three, as well as big crowd, big lights. Uh, she's capable to perform. So let's get it. Sounds too sadly. Over two and a half threes. All right. So if you've been watching, you know, we've been playing Rikia for months now. Uh, when her line was at eight and a half, nine. I uh, laid off her a couple of days <clears throat> and she's still doing great. Uh, it's at 14 and a half. Took the over minus 104. Um, we, we've been playing it since over here, like back here for a while, but the line keeps going up and she just keeps going over it. So I'm going to give her another chance. It's not that I didn't think she was going to do it. It's just, you know, she hit this four out of the last five and she just, she found her neck. Now, mind you, they've had a couple games off. I don't know if that means she's going to come back. And uh, three A's. So she might come back and be a little rusty. I don't know. So keep that in mind. There's a lot of plays on here that I picked. So I give you everything I bet. So I bet it. Another one I sprinkled on, which I didn't put in here, was threes. Over two and a half. Yeah, plus 350. Did a little like $20 bet. Atlanta's eighth and uh, threes allowed. This last three games, she's hit three, six, and four. She just needs to get three. Now, a little sprinkle, a little 15, $20. Even if you bet 10, 10 will turn into 35. Plus you 10. I think that's how it is. Uh, so I did a little sprinkle, but I played a points line, 14 and a half. The last five games, she's shooting damn near 60% from the field, 52% from three, 82% from the foul line. I should have never took off her. But, uh, yeah, like I said, hopefully the three days off doesn't make her rusty. But uh, let's get it. Rikia Jackson over 14 and a half. And I sprinkled on her threes over two and a half. I can play her threes at one and a half, actually. 
I don't think it's a bad number. Yeah, one and a half. You should play. You can play it at two. It's plus one hundred six. It's your discretion. I bet my money. You bet your money. All right. Uh, if you found this advice helpful, hit that thumbs up and. Uh, Maybe that subscribe button if you want to get my plays, my live bets, any info I got. I try to be as transparent as possible, share all my tips and techniques, and everything I do. Uh, uh, likes and comments help get the videos out there. And uh, as always, everyone who does like, comment, and my subscribers, I appreciate every single one of you. Tina Charles, points and rebounds over 25 and a half. Minus 118, FanDuel, playing Los Angeles, uh, 11 points allowed, 6th in rebounds. It's in the center position, 12th and 12th. That's the last place. It's only 12 teams. Now watch this. Bam! Last five games, easily cleared this. This last two games, it's fucking cleared by over 10. Really not much else to show you. She's exceeded 25 and a half points and rebounds in five of the six last games. First uh, bottom five defense for points and rebounds allowed. Field goal is 51%, 36 from three. She don't shoot threes, so. Uh, 85% from the foul line. She's averaging 14 rebounds, about a little over two offensive and just about 12 defensive. Head to head, 100%. Twice this year, easily went over it. Um, like I said earlier, there's a lot of plays. My unit size, I bet $25 a play. So it's just what works for me. Uh, this is a big slate, a lot of games. I bet all these plays. So if you're betting more money, just you know choose wisely. Maybe bet half units on plus money plays, things to that nature, or all line it back if you're spending more money. Buy the line back, so you can't do it with points and rebounds. But like a points line instead of twenty two and a half, get it at nineteen. Pay a little more juice. Uh, so have a good day. Appreciate everyone. He's smart the name getting paid for the game. Let's go.